a decade's experience, a local expert is sharing his wisdom when it comes to training dogs. Dean is standing by learning more about e collars. That's morning. right, yes, almost two decades' experience. Uh, this is Blair Diamond, and he is somebody who has been working with dogs as a behavioralist for 18 years now. And we often hear very negative things about shock collars or these yes. e collars for dogs, but Blair says there is a way to use them safely. Correct. And there's kind of been an evolution with these. There has been, absolutely. You know, the. The only shocking thing about them is how amazing they really are, right? You know. <laughs> so honestly, though, the, there has been this evolution. I remember when my father came home with a car phone. Yeah. And it wasn't, you know, right now we have computers in our pockets. Right. You know, it wasn't a cell phone. It was a car phone. It was yep. a big old box. And now, 60 years ago, this truly was a shock collar. Right. And it was only used for aversion training, which is very stressful to the animal. Okay. It's don't ever touch it again. Don't look at it again. Don't sniff it again. Right. And that can be incredibly stressful to the animal. But yep. these tools have evolved immensely. It evolved from what was like hot wire for horses, where it would bring you to your knees, and it mm -hmm. is shocking, mm -hmm. to where it's static correction, to okay. now it's where it's like an involuntary muscle spasm. Okay. There's over a hundred levels of stimulation on these things, where you can uh, really dial in the dog at that moment to grab their attention. Okay. And so it's like Goldilocks, not too hot, not too cold, uh, but what's yeah. going to grab their attention at that moment? Okay. But and it's it's all relative, really. You know what I think feels good in the shower, my wife thinks is scalding hot. Right. True. Right. You know, and so I always have. My human clients feel it before it goes on the dog. So, Dina, that's so what that's we're going to do right where, now. So, now I know why they decided to have me do the segment today. Yes. Because they want to test my shocking ability. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Great. Yeah, so. I'm a little scared, actually. Uh, I know, and that's fine. That's absolutely fine. <laughs> well, you do but, have an electric personality. But perception is reality. Oh, Until crazy. once you have felt it, then you wouldn't be hesitant to actually use that tool. Sure. Right? Uh -huh. So, what I want you to do is actually okay. put it on your palm, okay. hold it, just hold it right there. Oh, and I'm going to start Not stimulating. Okay, the ladies' oh, no, faces right now are no, scaring me. You guys are first. scaring me. Sorry. Yeah, no, no, you said not on the neck, right? Oh, right. No, but, uh, no and, and you would no, think that's the neck. equivalent. However, we're not bred like dogs are bred. Dogs' necks are made for more or less pulling purposes. Oh, so their neck is one of the oh. thickest oh. muscles in their body. Oh. So this would be an equivalent on her thigh. I think that might be a little inappropriate right now. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, we'll just use the that. palm, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. So, all right. Okay. So I'm going to start off at level seven. We have 100 levels here. Oh. Do you feel anything? Hardly. I'm going up. You're at eight. But what does it feel like? Nine. Okay, so it's almost like you know when you uh, have static in a blanket and it feels like you get shocked from, a, yeah. from the blanket static. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of what it starts to feel like, like when you rub the blanket on your body. Okay. So yes. But it's very subtle right now. I can hardly feel it. I can't even realize where the little dots are on my hand. Right. It just feels like a little. It's like a little involuntary muscle spasm yeah. that can happen, be, you know, on your tips, on the fingertips. So it's... right now it's only in my palm. Right. I so don't feel it anywhere else. So you very felt. Low. So right now you're at level 13 and you started at seven. So we have. I think Increase to that point. You yeah. Think, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and that's oh, 14. Okay. So, as you go up, I'm starting 15. now to feel it in the other fingers. Right, so yeah. Now so, it's not too through. hot, not okay. too cold, but what's going to grab the dog's attention in that moment? Got However, it. you never put this on in a moment of frustration or desperation. Okay. You have to condition, to them, condition them to this first so they understand where is it coming mm -hmm. from, how do I avoid it, how do I stop it? Okay. Once they understand that, it really does become the greatest tool out there. Wow, okay. Yeah. You guys, we did it. Okay. You did. And you okay. survived. I survived. <laughs> and your face is no, I know, I was like, actually. I like how you just kind of stop it at 13. Yeah, let's yeah. stop it there. Okay, yeah, we did um, it. Okay, but. You know, if, if I would actually, if I was a dog, I'd be responding to vibration based off the fact of when substitute teachers came into my classroom, uh -huh. I still listened. Uh -huh. I wasn't one of those kids where I'm like, oh, it's a party time. Yeah. Right. right? That's where the so stimulation have, yeah. needs to. You I know. have two dogs. One hardly. One would need it cranked all the way up. Most, at some you point. know, yeah, yeah, just different personalities. Yeah. You know, okay. Different Blair Diamond, dog yeah. behavioralist. We're gonna keep chatting with you. Thank you so much. All right, all right ladies. Who's next? Anyone else want to get shot? Huh? Huh? <laughs> what? Yeah. Stimulated. Back over to you. S suddenly, I can no longer hear. Stimulated. <laughs> no, really, I can't. Okay.